With the S&P up more than 10% so far this year, many investors are thinking of adjusting the allocation of their retirement savings. But my next guest cautions investors about chasing past performance. His research shows that 401k participants tend to add to whichever funds they already own that have gone up the most. David Labson is professor of economics at Harvard University. He joins us from Harvard's campus. Good afternoon, Professor Labson. Good afternoon. Tell me first why you decided to study 401ks and how people allocate their funds to them. Well, increasingly, that's the way Americans prepare for retirement. It's a very, very important part of our lives. So then, what is the best advice you have? Let me start here. For someone, say, who's approaching retirement, who lost so much in the market run of last year or market declines of last year, how can they recoup some of those losses, or, or where can they go from here, again, if they're approaching retirement? Well, I wouldn't think about it as recouping your losses. I would think about it as following a long-term strategy. We know that individual investors are terrible in terms of their market timing. They tend to buy at the tops. Uh, they tend to sell at the bottoms. So don't try to time the market. Don't think about recouping. Just think about a long-term strategy. But again, my point being that if you are approaching retirement, just looking for a little advice till we get into your research, um, is it just kind of hands up? Well, it's hold a diversified portfolio that's appropriate for your age. And that means as you get older, fewer and fewer of your holdings should be equities. Maybe at retirement, 30, 40, 50 percent should be equities. Um, more as you're younger. But don't think about market timing. Don't worry about the market's day-to-day -day movements or quarter-to-quarter -quarter movements. Simply hold a long-term portfolio with less and less allocation to equities as you age. So what was surprising to you about your research, the outcome? Well, not so surprising. What you see in the world is that people think that they can pick out these patterns and time the market. So when the market's going up, they tend to buy more and more and more. So they're maximally in, often at a market top. And when the market's going down, they tend to get out. So they're fully out at a market bottom. Uh, so as a consequence, to the extent that investors are timing the market, they're actually mistiming it. They tend to buy at the wrong times and sell at the wrong times. They would have been better served by simply a buy and hold strategy. A buy and hold across the board, do you keep this 60-40 stocks to bonds allocation? Well, that allocation should change as you age. So if you're a young investor, say you're in your 20s or 30s, I'd be nearly 100% equities. Certainly a lot of appropriately high-risk investments. As you get older, the allocation should shift down. Life cycle funds achieve this automatically for you. If you want to do it yourself, just adjust that allocation, rebalancing, trying not to condition your allocation on what happened last quarter in the market, but instead on what your age is. That's the trick. Don't be a market timer. Just hold an age-appropriate asset allocation. Our thanks to David Labson, the economics professor at Harvard University. Many thanks.